So these are my five top tips throughout winter on F1 dominated venues. Um, first up is scaling down. I think that's massively important in winter more than anything where it can be a li literally a difference as if you were fishing 013, dropping down to 011 will get you more bites. Um, so that's a massive tip in winter. Not so much, your, well, your lines as well, but more so your bristle size where you can show up bites. Like you'll be amazed how many times where if you use too thick of a bristle, you literally won't see the bite at all. Um, so scaling down, making sure your float's nice and dotted, using fi finer hooks, finer wire hooks, um, lighter floats if you can get away with it. So yeah, that's scaling down. So next up is bait choice, opposed to summer. So the type of bait is very similar than to summer really, but it, there's a little bit more to it than that. now. You have to look after your bait, you have to get good quality bait, I think more so in winter than ever. Um, what I mean by that is, say, if you have time and you go into a venue that has fishery pellets or you're allowed your own pellets, if you can, I'd rather, you'd, I'd rather do them the night before, just so they're nice and fresh and they're how I, wa how I want them really, they're like perfect. Same with my ground bait, ground bait not so much actually, I'd I don't mind doing that in the morning. But like maggots today, I got mine yesterday, nice fresh big maggots if you can get them. I think that's really important through winter. Um, so I use red maggots through winter more or less because the water's a lot more clear. Whereas in summer where there's a bit more color in the water, I think whites stand out a bit better. And then bread, I think you, I don't go to any F1 dominated venue without a little slice of bread. Uh, obviously if it's allowed, but it is allowed at near enough every venue. Um, so bread, maggots and some pellets, but I try and stay away from hard pellets unless there's a lot of carp. Even so, I'd still rather use Micron Expander, soft pellets, and just keep it simple. Like, that's basically all I use soft pellets, maggots, and bread throughout winter. Very rarely use corn. Um, but yeah, I just try and keep it simple, simplify my bait choice so I don't have to think about it too much whilst I'm fishing. So yeah, that's just bait choice through winter. So next up is how to feed more or less through winter say feeding more negative opposed to summer uh what i mean by this is you can't go into a match expecting even if the weights are say really good like 100 plus pound don't be expected you can just rock up and blast a load of maggots in you'll catch a load of fish now it's not as easy as that in winter sometimes you can be a bit more aggressive on some lines say down the middle when they rock up good you can be a bit more aggressive you can feed more bait you can feed more regular but I definitely start off being a lot more negative, maybe feeling literally nothing, starting off dobbing, just seeing if there's any fish in your peg. Um, but I'd always like to have one line where I can be a little bit more positive than my others. Say that's usually down the middle, uh, where I can constantly throw a bit of bait there and it's not really affecting my other lines. Um, and then across again, using little tiny cad pots or micros, literally feeding 30, 40 micros, sometimes less than that, just to try and get a bite just fish for a bite at a time um, I think that's a really good tip in winter just try and fish for a bite get a bite and not try and line a load of fish up at once um, but again don't be afraid sometimes when they're proper having a chew you can feed a bit of bait say down your edge you can maybe even try and target some carp by feeding a bit of ground bait feeding it a little bit more positive but I wouldn't do that on every line I'd always start off nice and negative and just feel my way into the match so that's my feed through winter Next tip is staying warm through winter. Now, I think it's massively underlooked how much being cold in winter can affect your fishing. Like I've done it loads of times now where I woke up and I thought, oh, I won't put my thermals on today, I'll be all right. And I get to the bank and I'm actually freezing. I'm like shivering all match and I've not enjoyed the day at all. Now, I think it's important. You've got to wrap up and make sure you're nice and warm. Like I have thermals, t-shirt, and then another t-shirt on top. And then I have my jacket. Sometimes I'll even put a jumper on. And some companies sell heated jackets and stuff. I think they're really good through winter as well. Because it allows you to fish and be a bit more comfortable. And you're not worried about, you're not like thinking, oh, I'm, bloody, I'm freezing now. Um, you're just focusing on your fishing while you're not worried about keeping your hands warm or anything like that. Now, that's basically my top tip is make sure you're comfortable whilst you're fishing so you enjoy it as much as you can as well. So that's keeping warm through winter. So my final tip is the power of local knowledge. So what I mean by that is, say, it's as equally as important as in summer as in winter. 
finding out what baits are working at the venue. Now, in winter, you could be fishing and you're thinking at a new venue, you're not catching because it's harder. You might think you're doing it all wrong and you have no confidence in what you're fishing. Now, if you were going to a new venue, if I was going to a new venue, I'd try and find out as much information as I can about that venue. So what I mean by that is, is what baits are working, say if they're catching on pellets or if they've stocked a load of new fish, pellets will probably be good because the stock is and if it's all big old fish maggots are probably better so it's important to find out what baits are working so you're not so you're confident whilst you're fishing and another thing as well is looking at the recent results now leading up to a match no matter what match i'm fishing i'll always look at the results um, and it gives you an idea of what weight you're fishing for so if i was going to say bradshaw's tomorrow for example i'd look at the results and say 90 pound won the match on Wednesday uh, on Sunday which is a which is a good weight and then it was backed up with like 70s and then 50s so I'm looking at the results thinking okay if I can probably catch 70 pound that'll be there or thereabouts that 90 pound might have just been a one-off weight where he's, he's been on a, a few fish and he's caught them um, so it's important to look at what what weights are winning and what weights you need to get in the frame because it's usually the same within week in, week out. Um, now and again, it'll change. It'll slowly start dropping off or slowly start coming on the up. Um, and it just allows you to feel your way into the match. And if things aren't going to plan, you might think, if I need £50, I don't need to start rafting a load of bait in and make something happen. You can just take it steady and then they might have an arrival last hour. Likewise, if you need a bigger weight, you need things to happen a bit quicker. So yeah, they're my, they're my top tips for winter.